bedauerlicherweise haben wir feststellen müssen, das sind etwa 40 Prozent der Fragen, die von Olaf und von der Kommission. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Director General of Olaf, Mr. Giovanni Kester, is now uh, prepared. First of all, we are not uh, satisfied. Now, for almost nine months, our questions put to Olaf and to the Commission are not answered, and uh, that is a scandal because we are searching for transparent uh, uh, answers uh, in the circumstances which led to the um, dismissal of uh, former Commissioner Dali. Um, the Olaf General Director um, had some contradictions in this uh, morning session. So first of all, he stressed that there was no conclusive evidence that uh, former Commissioner Dali was involved uh, in a bribe and that it was quite obvious that uh, he was not participating in a, in a criminal uh, act. Uh, but uh, reminding the public statements uh, during the last uh, October uh, in the surrounding of uh, the dismissal of former Commissioner Dali, that sounded uh, different. And this contradiction is still in the room and could not be uh, clarified this morning. Olaf has started, as it was bound by, by duty, and started a, a swift investigation uh, 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 respecting fully the confidentiality of, uh, of, this, of this matter. The general director of Olaf made it very clear that he will not care about a uh, resolution of the parliament and that he will stick uh, to the um, office uh, according to the independence uh, of Olaf. From my point of view, uh, the independence of Olaf uh, is very important, uh, but uh, as a parliament, as the elected representatives of the citizens uh, of the European people, I think uh, we should uh, put the questions uh, to the independent uh, uh, office of Olaf, uh, because uh, the supervisory committee, also an independent body in Olaf, uh, they made it very clear that in the investigation there are illegalities and irregularities and so the general director of Olaf has to clarify uh, what went wrong in the investigation and there must be a control of the controller, there must be checks and balances. We have the rule of law and here I uh, call the commission to come into. The commission is the guardian of the treaty and they have to secure the enforcement of European law and that includes the member states law. Parallel, I mean, probably, probably on the same question, we give attention on the implication of what we have done. No, there is no particular, I mean, uh, strategy, and, and not over the last year, the number of cases uh, arriving to all of us. I want to emphasize that the proposal aims to give member states a choice not to cultivate. Where there is an identified risk, it is not a matter of choice.